What up? What up? What up? It's your boy Miz, man, back with another vlog. Hey, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, I want to leave a flow proof for the debate. So leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, who y'all got winning these battles. So look, I want to get straight into it, man. Um, I want to talk about this Smack URL super fight card that's coming up. Um, I've been trying to record this blog, man, messing this thing up. But look, I'm going to get straight into it. Um, Rum Nitty, Don Marino, Geechee Gotti, DNA. You got um, Drugs and Danny. You got Easy to Block Captain and T-Top. So look, in no particular order, let's start with Rum Nitty and Don Marino. Now, look, I've been watching Don Marino since, uh, I believe Don Marino, I've been watching him. I think the first battle I've really seen in his where he stood out was his chess battle. And uh, after I heard him in that chess battle, man, I was thinking of Don Marino in the same light when I first seen Johnny Alcatraz versus um, Johnny Alcatraz versus uh, Clean Paper. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of bars, man. You know what I'm saying? But I just didn't know, you know what I'm saying, if he would keep it going. But then Don Marino kept coming back and back and back and back. And I like the whole Mexican bars thing, man. But I feel like in this battle, Don Marino going to have to show and prove. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Don Marino is in positions to where he show, he, he try to show and prove in a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like Don Marino going to have to show and prove a lot versus Rum Nitty. Um, I don't feel like Don Marino – I don't know. I don't feel like this was a good look for Don Marino. I feel like he waited a little bit too long, let Rum Nitty sit back a little bit too long and get this thing put together. And you know, once Rum Nitty put this thing together, man, it's a, it's a, it's a whole different situation for him, you know. So, we ain't seen Rum Nitty in the, on the last uh, on the last couple of cards, man. And I feel like with him sitting back, having the time to prep, I feel like Rum Nitty gonna take this one three zero. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people saying that they think Rum Nitty gonna do this on two one, but I think Rum Nitty got this one three zero. I don't feel like it's gonna be a body bag. But I feel like he's definitely going to take this one uh, 3-0. But um, let me know who y'all got down in the comment section, man. Um, next up, we're going to jump to uh, Danny Myers versus Drugs. All right. Danny Myers versus Drugs, man. Um, I don't really know what to say about this battle, man. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. If drugs realize that he's, uh, I don't know, he's going to be in a battle, man. You know, that's how I feel. I feel like Danny Myers not taking all of these battles, feeling like, you know, especially somebody on the caliber of drugs. And, and let me say this before anything. When I say on the caliber of drugs, I'm not trying to downplay him. I feel like drugs is, is fire, you know what I'm saying, personally. Um, I feel like drugs is the type of battler that truthfully don't need a team, you know what I'm saying? But being down with somebody like NWX would include more so around people like K-Shine and DNA. It'll help him to, you know what I'm saying, understand the seriousness of it and get itself together. But as far as this battle go, I don't feel like, I don't feel like drugs is going to have enough for Danny. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this battle is going to want to go one of two ways. Either Danny is not going to have enough for drugs over preparing or not prepared enough for drugs with the Arsenal battle coming up or or drugs gonna overlook Danny. You know what I'm saying? He gonna look past him and Danny gonna sneak one up on him. You know what I'm saying? But let me know who y'all got down in the comment section. And that battle I got I got Danny Myers taking it 2-1, man. I'm gonna be honest. I got Danny Myers taking that battle 2-1. Um I don't know, you know, but if if, our, if drugs win it, you know, I will get back on camera and say the drugs won this, you know. But in this battle, I feel like Danny Myers is, he know what he got to do. And he going to step up and show and prove. But moving along, man, moving along, we got T-Top versus Easy to Block Cap. Oh, 
I don't really know what to say about this battle, man. Um, I don't. I know that this is going to be one of the ones. Um, I'm ready to hear that talk from both sides, man. Um, easy to block captain. He's been on his run since he hit the URL. Um, T-Top, same way. He's been on his run since he hit the URL with the whole B uh, UFF, uh, the whole UFF shit with, with BET and all of that, man. Um, me personally, I feel like in this battle, it's going to be... I feel like T-Top going to win this one, man. I'm going to be honest. I feel like T-Top is a little bit more seasoned than Easy. Don't get me wrong. I like what Easy do. But I feel like T-Top got a lot, a little bit more to bring to the table than what Easy does, man. And I feel like I feel like Top gonna, gonna win this one, man. Um, clear. I feel like it's gonna be a two-one clear. I feel like Top gonna take either the first and the third or the first and the second. You know what I'm saying? But again, let me know who y'all got down in the comment section, man. And um, what we got next? Uh, DNA and Geechee Gotti. Now with this battle, I've been trying to wrap my mind around it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. I feel like DNA is smart for taking this battle. But I feel like Gichi Gotti is more smart for taking the battle at this time because, and I'm going to tell you why, look, if, T, if DNA would have took Gichi, uh, would have took Gichi Gotti about a year ago, I would have said DNA easy. You know what I'm saying? But with the fact that T, uh, Geechee Gotti has learned how to rebuttal. You know what I'm saying? It's got more poise in, these, in, the, in his battle. Um, has got His delivery is, a, is a 10 times better than when he first stepped on the URL stage. I don't. I feel like Geechee Gotti got more of a chance of beating DNA. You know what I'm saying? His fan base has grown, his believability. Um, him being seen in front of the screen a lot and winning a lot got a lot to do with this, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like Dan, as long as Gichi Gotti don't play around, which I very I've never really seen him play around with anybody other than the A Ward battle. And I don't know if he played around with A Ward. I think A Ward just was on one. But I feel like in this battle, I, I don't know, man. I, I can never really bet against DNA, man. And I don't really want to go against Geechee. So this one, I'm going to have to wait to see, man. But let me know who y'all got in this in these battles, man, down in the comment section. Um, let me know if y'all see any 30s. You know what I'm saying? Me on this in this card. The only 30 that I really see maybe is Rum Nitty and um, Don Marino. But past that, I don't see nobody else getting 30 or bodied or nothing like that. But, hey, this shit get crazy, man. But, um, again, it's your boy Miz, man. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I want to lead a float before the debate, man. Yeah.